This is uh, first pint in his sandwood by. And used, uh, I think it was four colours during this one. Um, raw sienna, light red, um, lemon yellow, and pine's grey. They're all various mixes of those four. And what I've started doing only very recently actually is um, laying in a sort of first wash, and then once it's dry, taking certain sections and re wetting it and doing it again. So I've started with the sky, got the whole lot in. And then I sort of re-wet the sky down to the top of this hill here and along the horizon. And then just try to get some stronger tones in there to try and make it more interesting and develop this sense of light. Then just follow the light. You might, you might see I've just sort of took out like a sort of very hazy sun there, just sort of circle, just wet it with a damp brush and then just took it out with a tissue. Just try to continue that light down and took out some, uh, again I just damped it with a clean clean damp brush and then took it out of the tissue just to reflect the light coming from the sun above. A bit of land and this rock here was dry again. Painted over it again just to make it, just see so up basically two layers on to make it really strong. You see the contrast between the light of the sky and this dark land really jumps out. Same with these foreground rocks. So what I've done I just took off some, again, another damp brush just to create like some surf, give the effect of surf just spraying up against the rocks. And then once I took the paint off to create the surf colour, I then did the rock again just so you've got a sharp, sharp edge all the way along. Put some darker lines in here just to suggest the reflections of these rocks here in the foreground. And then just put three little seagulls in. Notice the one seagull I've put right in front of the sun there just for maximum contrast. The uh, second painting is Loch Tula. It's like the first one. I did the first sky wash. I thought there just wasn't enough drama in there, so I re wet it and did it again, try to make it darker. I introduced a few clouds lower down just to bring out the. Although I haven't made the greatest profile of this mountain, I could have done made that a bit stronger, made it stand out a bit more. But dabbing out the base of the mountain with some tissues, I did this twice as well just to make the uh, trees really dark all the way along there. Not forgetting the reflections and also a few dark pieces in the land there just to suggest a few shadows. Autumn colours over here on the right hand side. Scraped, scratched in a few uh, tree trunks with my fingernail and uh, obviously below in the reflections, just to reflect what's above it. Just a simple foreground here, and then I've just flicked up with the hike along, just to suggest some grasses there in the foreground land area. I think what this painting does lack is a focal point. There's, there's nothing to really... It, it's Just maybe a boat or something sailing along just to catch your eye. Got this small unpainted area here in the foreground just to break up this dark mass just to try and make it more interesting. 